Experiencing or seeing something traumatic can be a really tough thing to work through. But after a while, most people settle down. If they're still having trouble after six months or more, post-traumatic stress disorder may be considered. All sorts of traumatic experiences can cause PTSD. For children and young people, it's usually something like a car accident, but could also be any number of other things, such as physical or sexual abuse, family violence, or the death of a loved one. While the causes are varied, it's important to remember that PTSD is not caused by media such as movies, books, or video games. Whether they have witnessed a trauma or were directly involved in it themselves, kids with PTSD will usually have increased feelings of anxiety. They might relive the trauma through nightmares or flashbacks, or even try to avoid anything that reminds them of the experience at all. Any of these symptoms can seriously get in the way of a young person trying to live his or her life. It can sometimes be hard to tell if a young person is suffering from PTSD. Some common signs are difficulty sleeping, distractibility, poor concentration, nightmares, intrusive memories, or difficulty following his or her normal routine. Addressing and managing PTSD in children and youth starts with patience and understanding. Create an open atmosphere so they feel comfortable talking about their feelings. When they do talk, be an active listener. They need to know that their feelings are being accepted and not judged. This can be hard if the adult has also lived through the same trauma, but establishing an open line of communication is essential to the young person's well-being. Young people coping with PTSD should be encouraged to resume their normal, pre-trauma routines. This should be done carefully and with consideration to their emotional state. Gradually returning to normal life is an important step in processing and moving on from the trauma. Managing PTSD is an ongoing process and may take time and patience. In the months and years following the trauma, Different situations may trigger trauma feelings in new and unexpected ways, and a child might not be able to recognize that what he or she is feeling is connected to the trauma. So as the adult, it's important to be prepared for these relapses. More detailed information around all of these strategies can be found in the links below this video. A personalized My Anxiety Plan, or MAP, can be built by watching our orientation video and using the guide. Or download the MindShift app and try some of the chill-out exercises.